Hi, I'm David Kessler. Welcome to the studio. The question I get asked the most as a painter is what kind of paint do I use? So today this video is going to answer that question. I only use professional quality acrylic paint. Now, some people use student grade paint. If you're a student, that's fine. I would rather you use more paint when you're beginning, when you're learning how to paint, and go through the paint and waste it rather than buying professional paint and not using hardly any of it. But once you get to be a little bit better painter, you really need to invest in yourself and get better paint. Here's the reason. Professional quality paint is 100% paint pigments. Student grade paint is mostly fillers. Uh, and lots of times students who buy student grade paint, uh, when their paintings are done, they say, well, you know, the, the colors just aren't very bright, or these two colors don't mix together like yours do. And the reason is they're using student grade paint, which only has a small amount of pigment in it. Now I'm using professional grade paint, which is 100% pigment. That's the difference. If you want your paintings to be bright and fresh and colorful, then acrylic, professional acrylic paint is going to be your best choice. Okay? You can paint with any of it, but just remember, if you're using student grade paint, your colors just won't be as brilliant because there is filler in there as opposed to 100% pigment. Okay? Now, with regard to brands, I use three major brands of professional quality paint. The first is Nova Color. It's uh, made in California. Uh, Utrecht, which I believe is made in Brooklyn. And Golden uh, Acrylics. I'm not sure where they're made, but I know it's a United States company. And I use, also I make some special mixtures of colors that I like. This happens to be um, what I call blue violet. And I've mixed together uh, ultramarine blue, uh, cyan blue, dioxazine purple, cerulean blue, and white. And the reason I know that is that I wrote it on the top so that when I go to mix this color again, I won't forget what was in it. Okay. Each of these, or actually each of these three, are professional quality paint. Very good. Some of the best paint that you can buy. I like certain colors uh, in certain manufacturers. That's the reason I don't use all one manufacturer. I'm spreading the money around, you know, a little bit. Uh, and I cannot seem to find one manufacturer that meets all the requirements. So it's just a, a little bit of trial and error to find out what manufacturers you like the best and which ones work the best for you. Now, typically when I'm traveling, I'll use these 16 ounce containers. But when I purchase paint, typically I'll buy these as a 32 ounce container of the golden paint and the Nova Color. And with the Utrecht, I use their acrylic titanium white. I buy that by the gallon because I use tons and tons of white paint. So from Utrecht, I buy gallons of gesso and gallons of white paint. I would uh, say for you, check a lot of different manufacturers buy their paint, test it, test the different colors and see what works best for you. See what you like. Uh, each manufacturer's paint color, even one to another, if they have the same name, the combination of the pigment is going to be a little bit different. Um, so if I look at Hansa Light from Nova Color and Hansa Light from another manufacturer, the colors are going to be similar, but a little bit different. Same thing with uh, Viridian. Or cobalt blue doesn't make any difference you know try all of the manufacturers see what fits in your budget see what works for you okay now an important thing that I tell students is if you can buy paint in jars or if you want to buy it in the tube buy a series of these plastic jars by mail order and squeeze the paint into the jar the reason I do that is because I use lots and lots and lots of paint when I make a painting. And I don't like to waste. This paint is very expensive. So I don't like to waste it um, by having a lot left on the palette that I can't reuse. With jars, all I have to do is take any remaining paint from the palette, scoop it up with a palette knife, and stick it right back in the jar. You know, paint tubes are like toothpaste, right? I mean, 
Once you squeeze it out there on the pallet, you can't stuff it back into the tube. So you're hesitant to, to use enough paint to actually cover your canvas. And the reason is you're using tubes as opposed to jars. That's why I prefer jars and I uh, recommend to my students, if at all possible, use the jars because you will use more paint on your paintings because you know that you won't waste any paint. Any leftover can be scooped right back into the jars and reused for your next painting. So when you're thinking about paint, think about using paint in jars. Think about using professional quality paint if you have the budget that allows that. And then look at different manufacturers that are available. Test their paint. See what colors you like the best. And go from there. That's what I did. It took me 10 or 15 years to do this. I finally settled on the paint colors that I like and the manufacturers that I like. But that's just for now, because I know I'm going to be looking at other colors on down the road. I'm never satisfied with just the colors that I have. I'm always looking for other colors to do a certain thing in my paintings. Okay. So I hope this helps. hope this helps makes you a better painter. Until next time, I'll see you. Thanks.